San Diego, California, home of military bases, the Chargers, and rough and rugged mixed martial arts. We were right in the middle of the action during the much anticipated return of Gegard Mousasi in America. The match was set for three five minute rounds at the Valley View Casino Center and both fighters were ready to let it all out for the opponent. Led by former UFC fighter Roman Matichin, Gegard boasted an improved wrestling technique that proved vital in this match. Gegard will be improving his U.S. training camp by training with Gokor Chavichin of Hayastan MMA, Dan Henderson, finding a nutritionist, and all of the modern advantages that today's champions will not step into the ring without. On hand for judging was the legendary Judo Jean LaBelle from Hayastan MMA Academy. Jean is one of our great friends here at Urartu Productions. Hi Uncle Jean! We spotted many recognizable faces in the world of mixed martial arts, including Strikeforce superstar Ronda Rousey, legend Gokor Chavichin, Gegard's brother Gavork Musasi, and Roman Matichin. They were present to help and support our fighter. The young Armenian talent performed to the best of his ability and got a unanimous decision victory over Ovin St. Pro. Thanks for following the fights and uh, for the support. Hi, this is Gavork Matavosin, and I'm here in San Diego, California, post-fight with Gegard Musasi. Hey, Gegard, how's it going? Going good. So, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel after the fight, Gegard? Uh, I could have done better. and um, I wanted to finish, but that didn't happen, and uh, there's always room for improvement. Um, what's uh, one of the things specifically that you could have improved to tonight? I should have... Um, Done more. I think that's the main thing. Uh, I didn't do. It. I could have done more in the fight, and uh, maybe uh, better submissions that would have been better also. Were you happy with the unanimous decision, or were you expecting a different result? No, I, w I thought uh, I won the fight. The past couple of weeks, uh, you've been training with uh, Roman Matichin. How has that been going for you? Uh, well, he coached me for the last two fights and um, we worked more uh, with game plans, we analyzed the fight, so things are getting better, better um, team around me. So um, what is, what is uh, one of the things that you do outside of, the, outside of training, like physical training to prepare for the fight? Do you do anything uh, different in your routine? Do you change anything in your diet? Well, lately I've been doing uh, stair training, uh, running upstairs, um, so that's helping me good enough, yeah. Gerhard, um, after your fights, what do you usually like to eat? Um, junk food, uh, after not eating for a while, I like to eat junk foods. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll tell you that much, you know, going on a diet, I can imagine it's like a lot of stress, you know, and, and a lot of like dedication you have to put. Um, during the time when you're like doing intensive training, uh, where is it that, you know, when you come to America, where is it that you are going to be training like primarily and what is it that you're going to be doing over there? Well, for next fight, I uh, have my training camp uh, in Glendale. Um, I think last month, one and a half month, uh, training at Go Course and uh, I think that's going to be my base and uh, after that uh, uh, train other gyms maybe also at Dan Henderson uh, um, so I'm gonna for the next fight definitely uh, move my camp to uh, US. What can we expect in the uh, following months for you Gerard? Are, are you going to be uh, you know what are the few goals that you want to be accomplishing soon? Are you going to be moving up and down in weight things like that? No, same weight, uh, more fights, and um, I think a new fresh start with a different way of training, new, so I think U.S. Uh, training in U.S. will do that. When do you think you're ready for another uh, title, title shot? 
Well, I have to see uh, the outcome of the next fight of King Mo. There are some other c uh, contenders, Michael and Fajal. Uh, we have to see how those fights goes, and uh, I hope uh, to get a title shot. Uh, anything that you're going to be doing differently to prepare for this title shot? Yeah, uh, training U.S. with uh, um, with trainers and uh, good sparring partners and a different team. Okay, got it. So how's it going with the ladies these days? Well, I have a girlfriend, so nothing much. <laughs> so how long have you been with your girlfriend? Mm, seven months now, maybe. All right, good times. You enjoying that much more than uh, single life? Uh, yeah, I have a good time. I'm uh, happy. Does uh, does she worry for your about your safety when you step into the ring? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Most, uh, I want to thank my friends, uh, Cameron, who's helping me on wrestling. Uh, my friends, uh, especially for helping me for this fight. Well, uh, thank you very much for the interview, Gerard. We appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos, you can always go to www.urartuproductions.com. Alright, we're here in the hotel room of Gegard Musasi and his crew. I'm gonna go around and see who's over here. Of course, we got uh, Gegard Musasi enjoying some pizza with the friends. Uh, over here, we also have Gokor Chavichin, the legendary Gokor Chavichin. Over 400 wins and zero losses. How are you doing today, Gokor? I'm doing good. I'm uh, very happy uh, Gegard win his match. And uh, next time, we'll take it shorter. This time, a little bit longer, but next time shorter. That's all I can say, you know. Kind words, Gokor. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Well, let's move on to uh, Roman Matichin, who's been actually training with uh, training Gegard from Usasi for the past couple of months. Hi, Roman. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Um, I'm actually, <clears throat> I think I lost my voice on this fight, but uh, thank God he won. So we're happy. We're done. He's perfectly okay. He's ready to fight upcoming fight uh, in Japan, end of the month, so stay tuned, watch him on HDNet, support. He's one of our raising stars, he's been a star, he's been a champion. Um, he lives in Holland, he's Armenian with blood, so I really encourage all the Armenians and all, the, all his fans to really support him. So far, he's been training hard, he's a great talent, and I know he's going to get that belt again. We got over here Gevik Musasi. Hello, <laughs> my name is Gevik Musasi. I, uh, yeah. So I'm better looking uh, uh, Gegard. I'm the better looking version of Gegard. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> nothing else to uh, add to what just Roman said, and uh, that's it. Yeah, we got some post fight pizza over here. <laughs> Looks like a uh, thin oh, crust. We got <laughs> Yep, um, unfortunately uh, Domino's doesn't deliver Jean Lavelle's tabule, but we do have some <laughs> next best thing, mushrooms, thin sliced, full slice, looks like onions on those, you gotta have onions on that, uh, on that pizza there, it's good, has antioxidants, it's good for you. I'm Gvork Matavosian with Aaron Tomasian, who are our two productions.